Hey everybody, welcome to our YouTube channel. This is J.D. Olson representing the Martial Arts Limited Association and of course my gym, Kishi Dojo Martial Arts at least. And if you've been here before, thanks for coming back. If you're new to our channel, thanks for checking us out. Here's what we got for you guys today. Coach Hannah, one of our purple belts in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and also she's a wrestler. And she's going to show us a couple takedowns that anybody can use for their martial arts game, especially our grapplers. So let's go ahead and see what she has to show us. Okay, so today we're going to do a traditional blast double, and we're going to do a pickup and dump double leg. All right, so he's going to be in a wrestling stance, which is a little bit lower than the traditional jiu-jitsu stance. Jiu-jitsu people tend to be a little bit higher, and then judo people tend to be a little bit higher than that. So we're going to take it all the way down. Our knees are about a 90 degree angle, and this is going to give you the best angle to get in for your shot. So a blast double is you don't tie up at all. You wait for the right space and the right timing, and you just go for it. My nose is going to be right on his xiphoid process, his sternum, right a couple inches above his belly button. And then my hands are going to drape around the back of his calves, and we're going to just drive forward. My foot is going to end up between his feet, and my knees are going, my knee back here is going to be what pushes me forward. So we're in a stance. My nose to a couple inches above his belly button. My foot, you can some, you can like work your way closer. In here, my hands drape behind his ears, and we go all the way through. So a little bit faster. I'm stepping. I'm stepping. I'm waiting for the right moment. And then we come in. I'm gonna do it one more time. For jujitsu, if keeping your nose right here versus going to the side is going to keep you from getting guillotined as we go down. So if I'm here and I keep it on the outside, here we go, he's just going to either sprawl or um, he's going to guillotine me standing or he's gonna pull guard. This way, this way is more explosive and staying in this center line makes him go straight backwards versus me crossing the center line and he's having the base to be able to recomp. When we do this technique, I understand that for jiu-jitsu, we're gonna end up in guard, and that's okay. You're gonna rely on your guard pressing techniques in order to execute the rest of your flow. So the second one that we're gonna do is the pick up and dump double. So instead of grabbing the calves, we're going to do an S grip and right behind the backs of the knees and your knee hits. And so um, your posture is the same. We're gonna keep our head in the same position and we're gonna drive straight up and turn like it's a big wheel. So, we're in our stance, wrestling stance, we're low. We come in, my foot goes between his feet again. Come in here, my hands go behind his knees. We come here, squat up, and down. My control is my arms. We're gonna squat up like we're exercising. We're gonna come up, squat up. If you have to move your foot back underneath you, that's fine. You can do this slow. So we're gonna come up. Your arms are what determine his direction. This is what keeps you from getting into guard. In our stance, foot between the feet, come in, squat up. My head comes to the side a little bit, but that's all right because you're not gonna end up in the guard. I'm gonna do it one more time. Well, there you guys have it. Two different takedowns that anybody can use for their martial arts training. These were focused on if you were a jiu-jitsu player or a judo player, but again, anybody who trains martial arts can use these. Remember, March 90% of all fights go to the ground, so you gotta have an option. Well, you know what to do, you made that in the video. Please do us a favor, hit that like button if you like the content. Let us know what we should be making more of. And also, do us a favor, smash that subscribe button, it really helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. And then finally, hit that bell icon so you know the next videos coming out from all of us here at Keisha Dojo Martial Arts Leash and the Martial Arts Limited Association. All right, you guys keep training, stay safe. This is JD, and I'm out.